What's up everybody, Eddie here. I'm gonna give you three Sabbath stealers that are stealing your rest from you. Rest is not only commanded in the scripture, we enjoy it. It's great to shut our eyes, to get away, to get out on a beach, to get in the mountains and just rest away. And sometimes our brains need a mental break too with all of the technological advances, social media, laptops, computers, TV screens, all of it, Netflix. Sometimes our brains just need to rest too. And so this is a great rhythm to build in your life. Not only is it commanded from God, but we also enjoy it. But there are some places where your mind tries to go to rest too and it just can't. Things that it escapes into for a hint of dopamine or serotonin, but actually is destructive to the overall well-being of us. So I'm gonna give you these three Sabbath stealers that you should avoid so that way you can rest properly and avoid getting in conflicts with people so that way you can just enjoy God the way you want to enjoy him. The first place the mind can't find rest, one of the ways we steal Sabbath from ourselves is through the word gossip. Yeah, gossip. Gossip actually is a place that we kind of decline into as people. And it, if you've ever gossiped, you get this weird pit in your stomach where you feel good for a moment and it, you enjoy the conversation about the, the brokenness or mess ups of somebody else. And you just feel that momentary release of pleasure and dopamine as you're doing it. The problem with gossip, besides the fact that the Bible thinks it's terrible, besides the fact that the Bible says that the, the gossiper's throat is an open grave that spits venom like from the mouth of an asp, despite all of that, is that actually you can't rest in that gossip. That actually psychologically it's very difficult to gossip about people, that you actually are not resting in that moment, even though you experience a momentary pleasure from it. Gossip is also causing problems for you in the future that you don't know what they are yet. You're gonna begin to have conflicts with other people that are gonna cause different problems in the future. So when you're trying to rest later, you're gonna get a phone call, a text message, or a Facebook message about an issue that you may, you, maybe you even caused yourself through the gossip. And so you do not wanna cause problems for your future self. You do not wanna, one, sin against other people, two, sin against God, and three, cause future problems for yourself, and then ultimately never actually be able to rest. So avoid the problem of gossip. And here's the thing too, everything you do when you do gossip is gonna convince you that you're not actually doing it, that you're not actually gossiping. And that's another trap. You've got to avoid that. So when other pe ask other people to be honest with you. Am I getting into something I shouldn't be? Because it's not going to help you, it's not going to help them, and it's not going to help the person you're talking about. The second Sabbath stealer is avoidance. Now, a lot of people, including myself in the past, have thought that avoiding things is actually how we Sabbath. If you've got a full checklist at work or school or with your family or with your, with your peers or with your hobbies, you think, I got to get all this done. And so, so I need to Sabbath. So you just avoid all of it. Now, if you're like me, the problem with avoiding is that all of that information just sitting back here and you're thinking about it, it's percolating and the list is growing and growing in your mind and you're adding things to it and all of a sudden you're ready to explode. Avoiding your tasks is not helping you rest. In fact, it's gonna steal your Sabbath from you because you've been thinking about it while you've been Sabbathing, while you've been resting on vacation or taking a break on the weekend and you've been thinking about it so you haven't been really resting and then you have to come back to it to work that next Monday. And so now you've just wasted your Sabbath. It completely stole it from you. So instead of avoiding, do something else. Uh, delegate. Delegate your tasks. Ask people to do your tasks for you or alongside of you to help take the burden off. Now, if you're a perfectionist and you think, man, no one can do it as well as me, I'm telling you right now, someone doing it at 85% is way better than you doing everything at 100%. And by the way, you're gonna be surprised to realize that you're actually not great at everything. You shouldn't be doing everything. That It's actually helpful if other people take the lead on most things in your life. The third Sabbath stealer is pornography. Now, hear me out on this one. If you are a Christian, you probably widely agree that pornography is not something that's good. It does damage to women, it does damage to men, it objectifies the body, it is uh, idolatry, it is all of those different things. We understand all of those things. And yet, so many people are still looking at pornography. And one of the main reasons they're looking at pornography, it for sure, is lust, but an underlying is looking for rest. They're looking for a way to detach, to get away from reality, and just to feel pleasure and to feel good for a moment. But I'll tell you right now, pornography does not give you rest. In fact, it increases your need for more rest because you never rested in that pornography. You did not rest, you escaped from reality for a moment, you did not actually recharge your batteries, you just drained yourself further and now you're also creating an addiction that will actively get more hungry and more hungry and more hungry and more hungry to the point where maybe you become addicted to pornography. 
True mental rejuvenation is spiritually healthy. It's God honoring and it's fun. It's all of those things. And so if we do believe that we are connected, mind, body, and spirit, then we have to do rest in the same way. We've got to rest our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. When we look at pornography, we're not resting our spirit. When we, when we avoid, we're not resting our minds. We have to do all three together. And the way we do that is by finding good God-honoring activities, like going on a hike with your family, to going on vacation and delegating tasks away. If we can avoid these three Sabbath stealers, I guarantee you, you're gonna have a large jumpstart on other people when it comes to finally getting that rest you need. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, will you do me a favor? Like this video, subscribe to this channel, help me get more of this information out to other people, share this video. There's not a lot about Christian health and wellness out there. This is gonna be a good jumpstart in that. I hope you will participate in helping me make that happen. Thanks.